What's up guys, hope you all are doing well. We are officially in the Budweiser Event Center for the Shaw Classic. As you can tell behind me, things are getting set up. They are coming to life. Uh, this has been quite a production the last few days of moving equipment, staging it here. Today is the first official day that we were allowed to start setting up in the building. So the big uh, 40 foot tower is uh, kind of the main hardest thing to get set up, but then moving all of the equipment is also very challenging. So we're getting some um, equipment areas set up over here. Uh, and we've got some of the some of the equipment uh, staged there, and then on this side is very exciting. We've got the uh, the car for the leg press as well as the leg press there, which we will have to get everybody measured up on. We've got the uh, athlete meeting coming up here in a few minutes, so I've got a little bit more work to get done. Um, on, on a few different things. I've kind of been running around being a little bit uh, all over the place, but it's coming together, staying positive, uh, and uh, yeah, this is, it's kind of surreal to be in here after all the planning, but uh, now it's crunch time and we gotta make it happen. So I'm gonna go get that stuff done. We'll kind of walk around, we'll talk to a couple of the guys, have a little bit of fun with this video and give you guys some behind the scene action. Oh. Oh. Wow. Oh no. Into the fan too? Jeez. That's really? That's, yeah, fuck. Go I'm, I'm trying, trying to walk and get away, but it's going this way anyway. It's disgusting. Oh, oh, Jesus. Jesus. Be, oh, you yeah. can smell the haggis. <laughs> <laughs> so basically what we're gonna have guys is we'll have we'll have a judge back here in your ear on that side. And that'll be Mark, and he'll be the one that'll be giving you the the press good lift. Okay. So he's like right, right in your ear. Yes. And then we'll have somebody else over here that's looking at your ass to make sure it's not coming off the back. Right, yeah. So as you go, it'll be up to you to bring it down. Now, if, let's just say, this is the seventh event, yeah. right? So let's just say you walk out and it's like, hey, I know I need to get four to get good points or something, right? You do four, like Mitch is going right now, you hit four, you say, take it, take it. We're gonna winch it. You don't have to load it anymore. So it can be winched at any point, the cable will be over here. But what's the delay on that, if I could ask, like? It's not long. Not long, okay. Here. So if he were, let's just say he were to finish this lift right there, and he were to call me right now, I want it off of me. Back <laughs> 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 Keep going. <laughs> I'm really more. glad I asked this question. Do more, now. Don't ever stop, keep pushing. <laughs> Up. Okay, perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah extra, extra, good question. Good yeah. <laughs> extra points if you bring it down. If I hit it? If you hit it and bring it down. So can I save extra a sandbag if I hit the top? I'm all right. I'm all right. I wanted this all to work. I'm stressing a little bit, but we'll get there. So I am here with my good buddy Terry Hollins. Needs no introduction. How are you feeling, Matt? Yeah, good, good. I'm really excited for the show. I think it's going to be fantastic. A couple of real good spectacles. The log press. I'm really looking forward to, and obviously the car, the car um, leg press as well, because obviously it's going to look really cool um, seeing guys leg pressing the car. But I'm excited for the show, and obviously everyone looks in shape, and um, the lineups are real. So. Yeah. It's... So Terry is doing the uh, live commentary. So if you sign up for the live stream, Terry will be with Todd Harris. Yep. So I feel like Terry's a great guy, very knowledgeable in the sport, and he did it last year. I thought he did a great job. Obviously, it helps that uh, you know we're friends. Yep. Right. Yep. And yeah. I mean, I, I, I'm I'm really excited to see this. Obviously, the first year there was reasons, but we were in the gym. Then last year we had a bit of a crowd, and it was great, and it was a good step forward. This is a whole different level, so I'm really excited to watch the show, and I think it's going to be amazing to be a part. Of. Yeah. Over here, we've got some. Um, our setup of the logs. I should show you those because those are pretty awesome. So these logs we had uh, custom done for the contest uh, as well. So you can see the the ends of the logs are, um, you know, of course the uh, the kind of you know figure logo uh, in there, and all three of them for the contest are different sizes. And this will be the main warm up area for the athletes. So when they're getting ready to go out and compete this area will be where they're doing their warming up. And then all of the main arena will be over there. So um, 
lot of a lot of really exciting stuff going on. We still got some work to do, as you can tell, to get set up and, and get ready to go. But uh, we got to wrap up the athlete meeting. We got a VIP meet and greet uh, to get to here in a minute. So uh, looking forward to that, and um, it's all it's all coming together. So everybody, let's go this way. It was amazing talking through the setup of this room and seeing it come to life is pretty cool and seeing all of you here is really good. So let's have some fun with this. Yeah. Um, I'm going to pass it to Brian. We'll start off with the main man. So Brian, explain the difference between a power belly and a large, larger than average belly. And good luck to everyone. It was between a power belly and an average larger belly. <laughs> well, a power belly is power, right? Like, I mean, so, I mean, you, I guess if you um, have a belly and you don't have power, then it's not a power belly. <laughs> is, is, that, is that the like, source of your power? You know, like Samson and the hair? Is it, the, the, the belly? it is awful. I mean, the last time I had to go to the bathroom on an airplane, it was a little bit uncomfortable for all the flight staff too because I had to leave the door open. I had to stand out the outside the So everybody in first class got a free show. <laughs> but yeah, short answer was very uncomfortable. It's not fun and we have to fold ourselves into very small spaces on a relatively regular basis being this big. So yeah, it sucks. Um, right, so um, let's go to Jerry for this one. Um, and maybe a couple of the other guys as well. Are you full-time strongman, or do you have day, a day job? Yeah, let's get a few of the guys for this one. Hello. Uh, I'm not quite full-time. I have a fab shop in Phoenix, so it's a, another full-time job. Uh, but it's, it takes it consumes a good, good part of my time. Um, and kind of lucky what I do right now with the fab shop that allows me to go away and compete. So. The two uh, work pretty well together right now, but uh, no, it's not quite full time yet. Maxine, I'm still blown away by that. Look, eight shits on the phone. <laughs> Sorry, uh, no, I'm not yet full time, but uh, me and the fiance Sam, we both own our gym, so we're both personal trainers. So basically, that's the only thing we do. We train, we train clients, and we so. Pretty much, yeah. Kevin? <laughs> uh, not full time yet, but uh, I do actually fire suppression systems, fire sprinklers in buildings. Um, so I guess you could say that's how I got my grip. Uh, Tightening the pipe all day long. But, uh, yeah, it's, I mean, it's challenging, definitely, you know, pulling 10, 12 hour days um, and then going to training, you know, especially in the heat. That's, that's been killer, but. And you gotta do what you gotta do. Like to your question on when when big records happen, in in my experience, like when I've had some of my biggest deadlifts, the days that those have happened, you have such a feeling of invincibility, you know, that you're invincible. Like the days I've made some of my biggest deadlifts, I feel like I can pull 